can only be described as a massive fail. Houston's top cop admitting his department abandoned potentially thousands of sexual assault cases along with the victims who made those allegations. Police Chief Troy Finner says that he and HPD are now committed to make things right. Fox 26's Greg Rugen here now live to tell us what else the chief revealed. Greg. Yeah, Rashi, it's all pretty ugly. Rape cases by the thousand discarded into investigative purgatory under the catch-all term suspended lack of personnel. Chief Troy Finner declaring it's now his department's highest priority to make sure justice delayed is not justice denied. Am I proud about this? Am I? No, I'm angry. Okay, because I know we're better and we will make it right. Houston Police Chief Troy Finner copping to a colossal failure by the law enforcement agency he heads. And what is certainly the most consequential HPD scandal since the notorious Harding Street drug raid, Finner identified 4,017 cases of alleged sexual assault administratively suspended for lack of personnel. Investigations essentially kicked to the curb all the way back to 2016. We're still short, and some people say 2,000 officers. So we do the best that we can do, but that's not good enough when we are not investigating uh, sexual assaults. Finner says he first became aware sexual assault cases were being suspended for lack of manpower in 2021 and ordered the practice stopped. He says an internal investigation is underway to determine why that explicit command was disobeyed. It was unacceptable then, it's unacceptable now. In the meantime, Chief Finner has assigned 32 additional investigators to reopen the suspended cases and contact victims. Anybody that has been a victim, let's make darn sure that we touch them and we give them the respect that they need and help them get justice. One thing that I'm not going to do is take families and victims, survivors, on a roller coaster ride. So when I give out information, I want it to be factual and true. Labeling it a dark day for his department, Finner warned the number of investigations covertly suspended for lack of personnel may rise and conceivably extend to other categories of crime. When pressed to assess his own accountability, the chief responded. Yes, I am accountable for the entire department. I'm not responsible for each and every individual, everything that they do especially when there's been some direction to do the right thing. We owe them an apology, and especially those, those true victims. And not just an apology. We got to make it right for them as best as we can. We have heard from the Houston Area Women's Center who called the development unacceptable, traumatic, and evidence victims continue to pay a high price when there are not clear practices on investigating and supporting sexual assault survivors. Just ahead at 6 p.m., we'll have reaction from Houston Mayor John Whitmire. In the studio, Greg Brugan, Fox 26 News.